Meanwhile, the business community and traders are unhappy with the finance minister, Ken Furiata's silence on scrapping redundant taxes in the 2024 fiscal budget. The traders early expressed concern about the impacts of COVID-19 health recovery and special import levies on the cost of doing business, asking for it to be removed. But it was absent among the rafts of tax reliefs announced by the finance minister. Guta President Dr. Joseph Obing says they will be compelled to pass on the cost of the taxes to consumers. He spoke on PM Express with Evans Mensa. Because we, 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 we demanded that the COVID levy should be removed. It's a nuisance that there's not um, a nuisance than the COVID levy. It came to solve a, a, a specific purpose and it's out of the table. It should be taken out of the table. It's but, as simple as that. But, but Doc, remember, yeah. you remember that government accumulated some COVID-related debt. That debt needs to be cleared. Yeah, but we also know that some funds also came. And we um, uh, and then we also know that the COVID and the pandemic came to destroy businesses. Have you also taken that into consideration? And that um, 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 the, the pandemic that has come to destroy businesses, we impose um, um, levies on it. There's no precedent anywhere in the world. Do you have any precedent? And those countries, do they not have an uh, incurred cost in combating the uh, uh, pandemic, no. We have to be. Uh, 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 we, 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 we have to weigh and, and decide the issues properly. Margaret Duabuaje, who is also CEO of the Ghana National Chamber of Commerce, describes the 2024 budget as uninspiring. I think that these tax relief are narrow based and not going to have any significant impact on the cost of doing business in 2024, because it's just only few and selected companies that will largely uh, benefit from, from that. Because if you look at the proportion of those who are manufacturing these key items, like sanitary pad and also the African print, they are just, just small. Mm -hmm. What we were expecting is a tax relief that will have broad base and significant impact on the larger part of the manufacturing company. All the things that we asked for, for me, we didn't see any of them being taken care of. I see. Yes. L list them for me. Yes. The, the, the COVID uh, levy, we have said that you wanted a scrap. it's counterproductive. We wanted it to be abolished totally. Nothing was mentioned about it. We started this campaign last year during the media review and then now nothing was, was done about it. The e-levy, for instance, we have said that if they want to rake in more revenue, they have to reduce the rate to 0.5. And I think people will even pay without knowing. They need revenue. They, we are giving them ways that we think that they should be able to uh, get those revenue. We also made a significant um, input. I mean, the, our VAT structure is not helping. So we ask that they merge. They convert the straight line uh, uh, levies, the NHIL, and that of the GET fund. Mm. The 5%, 2.5, 2.5, that translates into direct cost to businesses. They should convert it back to the standard bats and then merge all these bats and then we also reduce it.